Hey guys, Marcus Brown, Flow Point Podcast number 19. I know this is not what you expected. It's me driving in my truck to the airport to go to the U.S. Water Ski Nationals, and you get to sit on my handy dandy disc tray stand. So I'm sorry, it's a little jiggly. You're gonna have to deal with it. I want to abide by the law, be hands free. So just real quick, a couple things. Um, Flow Point Podcast started out as uh, something that I just wanted to do to give back, to bring stories, cool stories from within the sport of water skiing, and hopefully eventually outside the sport of water skiing, interesting stories of people overcoming challenges, um, just people who have done something amazing with a career or, you know, dealt with hardships in their life. So that being said, I want to put this out there. There's a website, sorry, email address I have called flowpointpodcast at gmail.com. That's flowpointpodcast at gmail.com. Your homework, first homework assignment is to send me uh, names of people that you would like to see either on, sorry about the bumps, either on the Flowpoint podcast or featured as a story on Flowpoint TV. Um, so if you haven't seen Flowpoint TV, you can go there as well and check out the stories I've done. Uh, web series flowpointtv.com so that's the first thing second thing is um, for all those people out there that are going to nationals u.s water ski nationals by the way where i'm going um, just enjoy this week i'm going to be there if you happen to be on site come find us we have a new ski just like everybody else does this year uh, at at ho skis a new syndicate pro there's a lot of buzz around it Uh, will asher jt and Jamie Bull have all been riding it all season, and they've all been crushing and making podiums above and beyond kind of what they've been doing for the last couple of years. So I think the ski is is something that you're definitely going to want to try. HO has one of the best, if not the best, demo programs in the business. I think it's 50 bucks. You get to try a ski. You can also try a front hard shell boot, which by all accounts might be the best in the business right now. So that's my quick HO plug. That's where I'm going to be this week. And um, that's what you should tune into, whether you're there or not. Also, um, sorry, I'll take you off the jiggly stand. Also, in the future, I want to do more of these. Maybe not in the car driving to the airport, but maybe in a more casual setting. So what I'd like for you guys to do is think of things that you want to ask me so that I can have stuff to talk about next time and not just make stuff up while I'm on the way to the airport. Things like technique questions, water ski technique questions, the physics of skiing, because everybody wants to ski better. If you're a skier, you want to get better. That's part of the reason why you're doing it. Yes, you love the feeling, but you also want to get better. By the way, getting better, the just the most generic thing I can tell you right now on the fly about getting better in your water ski for those of you who aren't going to nationals, would be to go free ski. If you're a core skier, go free ski. Tomorrow, today, this week, make it happen. Free skiing is one of the best things you can do to hone your senses, to to develop your sensitivity to where you are relative to the boat, relative to the pylon. That really is the battle or the dance that we're we're in, rather, when we're water skiing, is our, our mechanism of propulsion is the pylon. So if you don't know where the pylon is or you can't feel and you're making moves at the backside of a buoy or an edge change because you see a buoy approaching you and you're not making those moves necessarily because it feels right based on where the boat is relative to where you're traveling, then you're selling yourself short. So even if you're on a private lake where you have a course and you can't get away from the buoys, run the course in reverse. Pull out to the right for the gates cut back through if there's a ramp there don't do that that's that's going to be unsafe otherwise ski the course in reverse try to free ski it's it it can it can really help your course skiing like it's one of the the biggest things that i think people should do that they don't do if not the biggest single factor in people skiing that could make them better so don't pop the buoys but go free ski and then um aside from that yeah i'm just looking forward to being at nationals if like i said if you're there come see me I'll be doing some filming. I'll be in the HO booth. Come ask me questions about the new ski, about technique. Also, by the way, sorry for the plugs. This Flowpoint podcast started out as something I wanted to do, not as a HO branded thing, because I wanted people to be able 
of all walks and all brands to be able to embrace Flowpoint Podcast because it really is should be stories about people doing cool things or just you know have they have a funny story to share. So I'm sorry that I just commandeered this and threw in the HO plug, but in the future I'm open to having any and all guests on here, including pro skiers from other brands. I've already done that. I'm going to continue to do that. So when you're writing in the email, flowpointpodcast at gmail.com, just understand that um, anybody's fair game. So open to all suggestions. Hope everybody enjoys uh, the week if you're at Nationals, and I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Sorry it was so quick, but um, I'm sure I'm going to have some good material after this week. So stay tuned and uh, check back. Let me know if you uh, have any ideas or suggestions for making this better. Thanks, guys. See you.